Hi, Mike Smith of the uh, Wolf Hara Fiara Theoth, uh, also true tribal. And uh, today I um, just I set up my altar here to because um, my group, the Wolf are going to celebrate what we call Vora Bloat or Spring Bloat. Um, it's not a traditional holiday that you find direct evidence of. Uh, but it's something that we modernly created. Um, you know, a word about reconstruction being a, a methodology, you know, just because you hold strong to reconstruction doesn't mean you don't, when, when you understand aspects of it, that you don't add modern parts or things that make sense in your region. For example, here in New Hampshire, um, spring really kind of doesn't hit here till like May, along with black fly season as they do the New Hampshire wave and uh, that's when everything starts suddenly BAM everything's green again so I guess you could say the somewhat historical base or kind of idea that I got it from was reading some old uh, court annuals and parts of Sweden and stuff that talked about in like the I want to say 17th century I'll put it in the description of there being uh these fertility cults, as they called them, and old heathens that were worshipping, you know, evil gods and stuff, like like those evil fins, um, of existing and them going to court and stuff and being caught for that kind of stuff. And some of it were things like they were like fertility type cults or, uh, you know, similar to the Finnish uh, Suvatar, Awakening Manutar kind of thing. Um, and some of these annuals kind of describe them, you know, everything from the naked foot race for people, for women to run to see if uh, who wins may get married next to uh, worshiping the earth kind of a thing for bringing the green. Um, so here, you know, Ostara doesn't make sense for us because it's still, there's still snow usually and it's freezing cold. But so this is what we kind of did develop within our place. So what we have is we have your, the earth uh, is awakened by, Sjolfin, where it's Sjolfin you find, you know, is the goddess of love and renewal, spring kind of thing. I believe in Sweden there's still bonfires around that time in honor of her, from what I understand, others telling me and such, uh, even to this day, even if, you know, worship type stuff doesn't occur. But that's what we, we think of as a tribe. Um, Sjolfin, the real goddess of love and, and spring and renewal, awakens Yorth, the earth, and brings up all this stuff. And, and we also include Edun as someone, you know, renewal and stuff, which is basically what spring is about, because we have a spring. It's very distinct, very, it's there, you know. So that's another quick little tidbit video. Thanks.